guns, cash and lottery scamming paraphernalia seized in raid on OTF gang. The security forces have provided more details on the assortment of guns, ammunition and contraband seized during the raid on a premises occupied by members of the Only the Family or OTF gang in Green Pond, Street James on Thursday. The operation was conducted by Joint Anti-Gang Task Force. Three members of the notorious gang, two women and one man have been arrested. Nora Gay Banton reports. The operation led to the seizure of three rifles, an AM-15 multi-caliber rifle, one Omni-Hybrid multi-caliber AR-15 rifle, and one KMA-15 multi-caliber modified rifle. The police also seized three handguns, one Browning pistol, one Glock 19 pistol, and one Hellcat pistol, plus 465 rounds of ammunition. An assortment of Jamaican and United States currency plus several electronic communication devices were also seized. Three members of the OTF gang, two women and one man all from Green Pond, were arrested. One of the women is a 48-year-old businesswoman, the other is a 22-year-old customer service representative, while the male is a 26-year-old businessman. The trio are suspected of involvement in the local trade in illegal weapons and ammunition. Their identities are being withheld pending further investigations. In a statement today, the Jamaica Defense Force, JDF says the gang is a second-generation syndicate, with headquarters in Red Dirt, retirement in Street James. It says the gang has strong influence in the Green Heights Muse area of the Green Pond community and is known to have strong transnational connection with multiple top-tier members residing overseas. According to the JDF, the OTF gang is also known for its strong involvement in contract killings and lottery scamming and has contributed to a number of murder and shooting incidents, most of these stemming from gang conflicts. It says the OTF gang is allies with two of the most notable gangs in the Street James Police Division, the Vietnam Sparta gang based in the Flanker community and the Big Yard gang based in Granville. The JDF says based on previous reports, these are clear indicators that the security forces are having an impact in the counter-illicit trafficking of weapons and ammunition that are being trafficked and confiscated through multiple controlled ports. Persons with information about gangs, gunmen, and guns are being encouraged to call 876-224-4483, Crime Stop at 311, the JDF tip line at 876-837-8888, or the National Intelligence Bureau at 811. One of St. James' most wanted was fatally shot in a police operation. Tavon Poppy Johnson, one of St. James' most wanted criminals, was on Tuesday night fatally shot in a shootout with the security forces in Mount Salem. The 26-year-old, who is said to be a top-tier member of the Alliance gang, was wanted for several murders and shootings in the parish. One of St. James' most wanted was fatally shot in a police operation. Johnson was wanted for several murders and shootings in the parish. Contributed photo. Tavon Poppy Johnson, one of St. James' most wanted criminals, was on Tuesday night fatally shot in a shootout with the security forces in Mount Salem. The 26-year-old, who is said to be a top-tier member of the Alliance gang, was wanted for several murders and shootings in the parish. It is reported that at about 11 p.m., a police military team carried out an intelligence-led operation in Crawford Street in Mount Salem, which is under a zone of special operations, in search of Johnson who was said to be staying at premises in the community. On arrival at the location, the security team was reportedly fired on by Johnson. They returned fire and Johnson was shot. COVID-19, mosquitoes, and rats a concern for St. Thomas. Or in Bay, St. Thomas with 37 active cases of COVID-19 in the parish and the advent of mosquito breeding season. Public health officials are urging St. Thomas residents not to let their guard down and take the necessary precautions to protect themselves from communicable diseases. During Thursday's monthly meeting of the St. Thomas Municipal Corporation, Medical Officer of Health Dr. Doyen Smith stressed that COVID-19 remains a priority for the health department. He noted, however, that the virus is not concentrated within any specific community. Of the 37 active cases, we have seven admissions on the ward at the Princess Margaret Hospital currently. I want to take the opportunity to remind those among us that have any kind of illness to ensure that they are wearing their masks, washing their hands frequently, among other preventative measures, Smith said. The Ministry of Health said there was no need, at this point, 
to once again make the wearing of masks mandatory for everyone. However, he encouraged vulnerable groups to wear face coverings. Hoping to boost St. Thomas' COVID-19 vaccination rate from its current 16.5%, the Morant Bay Health Center is now accepting walk-ins for jabs on Tuesdays. Vector control is another concern that remains a critical pain point for the parish, especially with frequent rainfall during the ongoing hurricane season. During this time it is likely to have the outbreak of mosquito-borne illnesses, Smith warned. The St. Thomas Health Department has actively been working to minimize opportunities for mosquitoes to breed. Of the 9,619 premises they have inspected within the parish, 14% tested positive for the presence of the pests. Smith explained that, as a parish, they should not exceed a 10% positivity rate. He assured councillors that his team is actively working on a daily basis to demolish breeding sites and get the numbers down. He has implored residents to search their homes weekly to identify possible breeding sites and to accommodate vector control teams when they do home visits within the various communities. The issue of four-legged pests was also raised during the meeting, with Mayor Hubert Williams, People's National Party, White Horses Division, speaking about the need to urgently address the issue of rodents in the town center. In response, Smith said his team had already tabled a proposal to roll out a special rodent control program which will help lower the risk of leptospirosis. He assured the Council of his commitment to serve the people of St. Thomas and said his team is ramping up efforts to address the health issues raised. Police probe link between shooting and cop found hiding in bushes. The police are trying to determine if there is a link between the injury of a man and four men, including a cop, who was detained in Ju Pen District, Bogwalk, St. Catherine, on Thursday night. The man, a 24-year-old construction worker, was shot and injured in the said location, where police investigated explosions and later detained a constable seen hiding in bushes. The police reports indicated that the incidents occurred at around the same time. It was reported that around 7.50 p.m., the construction worker was walking along the roadway when he was approached by gunmen who opened fire at him, hitting him in the upper body. He ran off and hit himself. Police said the man contacted a nearby associate, who came and saw him near a church along the roadway, holding onto his stomach. He informed his associate that he was shot and injured by unknown assailants and was assisted to the hospital, where he was treated and admitted. Police are probing if those were the explosions residents reported when they went to the area to investigate and found the cop. The constable had told police he and three friends drove to the area to conduct a motor vehicle transaction when they heard gunshots and he hid in bushes while his friends drove away in his car. The friends later drove the cop's car to the Bog Walk police station, where the constable was taken. A search of the vehicle yielded more than 100 rounds of ammunition. The policeman is not a licensed firearm holder, nor does he have a permit. Police say only the family gang strongly involved in contract killing, lottery scamming. The Joint Anti-Gang Task Force, JAGT, has provided insight into the operations of the Only the Family, OTF, gang following the arrest of three alleged members during a raid in St. James on Thursday. Six guns and more than 400 rounds of ammunition were seized during the raid, while two women and a man were arrested. The JAG says the OTF gang is a second-generation gang with headquarters in Red Dirt, Retirement, St. James. The gang is reportedly known for its strong involvement in contract killings and lottery scamming. The police say the gang has contributed to a number of murder and shooting incidents, most of these stemming from gang conflicts. The OTF is also reportedly allied with two of the St. James Police Division's most notable gangs, the Vietnam Sparta Gang, based in the Flanker community, and the Big Yard Gang, based in Granville. The police say the gang also has a strong influence in the Green Heights Muse, Green Pond community of St. James and is known to have strong transnational connections with multiple top-tier members residing overseas. However, the JAG says there are clear indicators that the security forces are having an impact on the illicit trafficking of weapons and ammunition that are being confiscated through multiple controlled ports. Usain Bolt statue in Miramar, Florida, USA A child strikes a pose at the Usain Bolt statue in Miramar, Florida, USA. The monument was unveiled today at the Ensign Sports Complex. The $25,000 statue was done by Jamaican sculptor Basil Watson and was commissioned by the Vice Mayor of Miramar, 
Alexandra Davis. The retired Jamaican sprinter was in attendance, along with members of the Jamaica Athletics Association and the Jamaica Olympic Association.